I'm Washington State Representative Tara Simmons, and it's my pleasure to introduce this year's winner of the Outstanding Young Lawyer Award, Paul Heer. This award recognizes a lawyer who has gone above and beyond to serve their community and the profession, all within their initial years of practice. Mr. Heer is an associate in Foster Pepper's Investment Management Group, and he has parlayed those legal skills to become a fierce pro bono advocate for the Seattle Clemency Project. To Mr. Heer, I offer my respect and heartfelt thanks. As a fellow young lawyer, I understand the determination it takes to carve out time to pursue the projects you are truly passionate about. And from firsthand experience, I understand how critically important it is to reform our criminal legal system and help formerly incarcerated people reintegrate into their communities. In addition, what you did for my dear friend, Eugene Youngblood, cannot be articulated in words. You spent hundreds of hours in a labor of love to fight for his freedom. But according to him, you were much more than a lawyer and made a genuine connection and he always felt cared for. Mr. Here, you offer hope to those who need it most. And I cannot wait to see where the next years of your career take you. I sincerely thank you for the contributions you are making to make our world a better place. My name is Paul here, and I'm an attorney at Foster Garvey. I work in the investment management group. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to be like my grandpa. He grew up in British-occupied India. He had to learn how to participate in a legal system that wasn't built for him. Hearing those stories, incorporating them into my life, showed me the importance of the role of an attorney in our society, in our community. Becoming literate in the law and policy, not only to protect the ones I love, but then now to also live up to the values that I believe our community should live up to is kind of all the reasons why I became an attorney and why I enjoy being an attorney so much. He takes responsibility, takes initiative, who has a vision for how things could be and is capable of not only imagining that for himself, but painting that picture for others. I met Paul here in 2016. Seattle Clemency Project was putting on a lawyer recruiting training and he really stood out to me. He found something that inspired him and he wanted to jump into action, even though we were clear that it was gonna be a challenge. Paul ended up working on that case and today his client is back in the community. When it comes to doing clemency work or when it comes to doing post-conviction work, the need for it was so great that the more I began to learn about it, the more I felt that I had like a moral obligation or a duty to do something about it with the skills that I developed. That began with trying to accomplish individual justice through individual cases. And now it's progressed to not only educating folks on the policy narratives that our community is adopting and how we need to make structural institutional changes to reflect those values. Paul's contribution to the Seattle Clemency Project has really gone beyond what we expect any volunteer to do. He's taken on two cases to petition for early release for clients who had life or long sentences, and he was successful in both of those cases. He's assisted other volunteer lawyers on their cases. He's currently Seattle Clemency Project's board president and is providing incredible leadership. Those boards and those committees are an incredible amount of work. I honestly don't know how he squeezes it in, in between all of his day job responsibilities, his work on pro bono cases, his work on the board of the South Asian Bar Association of Washington. But somehow he manages to find the time because he's one of those people that saying busy people get things done, that describes Paul to a T. Thank you to the WSBA for this honor. Uh, thank you to my colleagues at Foster Garvey who have mentored me and trusted me. And thank you to my family. I would be a shadow of the person I am today if it wasn't for their love. Mm -hmm.